Hello, my name is Ioannis Dizogl. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, customize your terrain and add trees and grass into the latest version of uh, Unity, which is 2020. So if I go here and type Unity Hub, so open my Unity Hub, I'm going to drop down the list here and I will be able to see that the latest version that I've got here is 2020 0.2.5 if you do not have the latest version click on the installs click add and then the 2020 version uh, 2020.6 is available now as well you can click on this and you can click next you can select the WebGL we need the WebGL, we, we need the Windows, we, we need the iOS, and we will need, uh, let's see, the Android, Universal Windows Platform. Okay, so these are the only ones that I need. I'm just going to click Done now. And basically, my installation of the 2.6 version is installing now so however I've got the 2.5 version here I'm just gonna go to the project and from the drop down list the 2.6 is installing as we speak I'm just gonna click the 2.5 version and I'm just gonna call this uh, my new game just gonna click create as you can see here, I've got the asset store, the Unity asset store. I can bring this page up uh, via Unity. I'm going to show you in a second once this is loaded. Okay, let's maximize this. If we go to the Windows tab, click on the asset store and then click search online. This will open the web browser. We're going to type here standard assets. And then we need to click on the standard assets here. So even though the standard the standard assets is only available for the 2018.4, you will still be able to bring this into your latest Unity project. By clicking on it, you might see the download button there before the import. Make sure you download it first, and then click import. Now select import again and give some time. Okay, once your package is imported successfully, exit the package manager, go back to your scene, and let's get started with by adding a terrain. So we go to the hierarchy, we click plus, and then we click 3D object, and then we click terrain. Let's zoom out a bit. So our standard package is imported successfully here. So by clicking on my terrain, I'm going to click on the brush icon here. Uh, from the drop down list here, I'm going to select raise or lower terrain. I'm going to select this brush here and I will be able to adjust my brush. And basically by clicking and dragging, I'm going to create my hills, my mountains, etc, etc. If you overdone it and you want to bring the terrain, the, the hills and the mountains down a bit, hold the shift key down and click and drag to basically reduce the height. Once this is done, we need to drop down the list here and then select paint texture. From here, we need to edit terrain layer and select create layer. We're going to type here grass. I'm just going to select grass rocky, albedo, double click that. So the whole terrain is covered by the uh, rocket albedo. I'm going to click edit terrain layer. I'm just going to cl click on create layer. 
is going to type grass again. This time I'm going to select the Hill Alberto. I'm going to click on the Hill Alberto. And I'm going to basically start drawing where I've got I want my Hill Alberto colors. By following the same process, you can actually add multiple different uh, styles. So now I'm going to go to the trees. I'm going to select Edit Trees, Add a Tree, click on this option here, scroll down, and basically double click on the trees available. Click Add. Make sure you select the tree and then basically click and drag. Or if you click and drag, you add in quite a lot of trees there. If you change the density, the lower the density, the more sporadic the trees are. The higher the density, the more trees you have. So don't go crazy with the trees, otherwise your player will not be able to actually go through. If you if you go closer, you will be able to actually see things a bit more better. So let's change the density. Here, if I single click, I'll put a single tree. If I click and drag, I'll put multiple trees. Okay. If you change your mind and you want to take trees off, hold the shift key down and then click and drag and then the trees will disappear by holding the shift key and clicking and dragging. If you want to add more trees, you click edit, add trees, click here and basically select a different tree click add and basically all your trees will be listed here by selecting the tree and basically clicking a drag you know just clicking you will be able to apply the trees into your terrain the next thing i need to show you is here if you click this option here paint details and click edit details and add grass texture and click on this icon option here and type grass. You could actually add the this grass here. Double click it, click add, and by clicking and dragging, you're not going to see much here. However, if you bring your camera to this section, let's use the move tool there. Okay, our camera is there. Let's bring it down a bit. Let's use a little bit of tilt. And if I press the play button, I will have some errors. So that's the reason why this uh, is only available on the 2018 version of Unity, but don't worry about it. I'll show you how to fix this. If we go to the console and we scroll up a bit and double click on the arrow message, this will open uh, the page, the C sharp page that causes the arrow in, uh, in your text editor. In my case, I've got Visual Studio. Uh, we need to comment out line 11 so put forward slash forward slash on line 11 we need to comment out line 22 put two forward slashes there and we need to comment out line 36 put forward two forward slashes there click save all exit this window minimize this give some time for the changes to take place and then click on the this option here which says clear the arrows and basically press play again and your project should run without any issues okay so i've got here a tree here very close to me uh, so let's stop this project and uh, let's bring the camera a bit 
there is the grass this is the grass I've added earlier so if I press play now as you can see the grass is moving so this is the grass we just added and again you will attach the camera into the player so you will be able to actually control uh, the camera at the same time as you control in the player so this is the difference in between the previous versions of unity and the 2020 version of unity uh, and this is how you bypass the issues in order for you to still manage to get a nice terrain uh, by using uh, all textures the standard assets i hope you've learned something new today i hope you will use these new skills of yours to create amazing games thank you very much for watching bye